money out of your pocket. A watchdog group at the Capitol says that you're allowing these thieves to do it. Find out who tonight. Transportation, liquor privatization, and pension reform. What some called the big three during state budget negotiations. What's last here, though, is certainly not least. We have to do a new plan design that is maybe a cash balance or a hybrid kind of plan. The Commonwealth has to do something to make up for the 10 years that we underfunded that pension. Then if you do those things, I think it's reasonable to go to current employees and negotiate some concessions. Pension reform is something that would help immediately reduce the burden on taxpayers. It's something that has become evident to rock the capital frontman, Eric Epstein, as well. Every year, he has a team go over the cost of COLA, pension raises, and the pay raises that were enacted in 1995, 2001, and 2005. He believes the system is unfair and needs to be changed, but doesn't expect the legislators to do anything about it. I think it's going to be very difficult to change a system that rewards pension plundering. Somebody like Joe Pitts, who's still making almost $180,000 a year as a congressman, is getting $90,000 a year taxpayer dollars for his pension. Because of the way a lawmaker can double and sometimes triple dip the system. And he's not the only one receiving these benefits. It's, it's folks on both sides of the aisle. Allison Schwartz, um, Charlie Dent, Chaka Fatah, I believe, is also um, collecting a, a pension. It's not, you know, it's not limited to, to, to one group or another. All some people really want is a fair shake. A state legislator can retire after 10 years of service as long as they're 50 years old. The age requirement for other state workers can be as high as 65 years old or completing 35 years of service. I think the time has come to elevate um, all employees in either of our pension systems to sort of the same level so that, you know, what's good for the, the custodial worker at a school district should be good enough for a state legislator or a judge or an executive office uh, official. Working for you, I'm Daniel Bixler, ABC 27 News.